So the question I've been asked frequently is how to extrude on a curved surface. So what I have here is a six inch uh, cylinder and I'm going to uh, show you by create uh, multiple different ways. But the first way I'm going to do is just show you by creating a plane. So I'm going to click on my plane up here. I'm going to choose my, uh, that should be my right side plane. I'm going to offset it three inches on this one which is my uh, radius of this. So I can come around to that on the right side. I'm just gonna draw a sketch on that plane I just laid down, and I'm gonna place a one inch circle there. Now what you're gonna notice is when I extrude this, I get an error because I don't have the entire portion of this circle touching the surface. So I can actually do this as an addition, but you're gonna notice is I don't quite have the entire portion of that circle touching. So what I'm gonna offer uh, as a solution to this, so instead of putting it at the radius, I'm gonna put it at the, the my plane at the extrusion that I want. So I'm gonna change it to four inches because I wanna one inch extrusion on this. So you can see my sketch has moved one inch out. I can open up that sketch now and I can click on extrude. And I'm going to extrude up to my face. The face that I'm going to extrude to is that circular face. Oh, I got to flip my direction on it. And up to my circular face. Now I'm going to hit my green check mark and you're going to see it's going to extrude that circle until it reaches the face. So now I make contact with that circle everywhere. So that's one way to do it. I'm also going to put a plane down. I'm going to put it on my front here. I'm going to offset this one by uh, 2.75. What you're going to notice is the plane is inside the part right here. I'm going to place my sketch on that plane. I'm going to grab my circle tool. I'm going to draw that same one inch circle. And now when I extrude this, I'm going to extrude this part one inch. You're going to notice it extrudes from inside the circle. The only caution that you're going to want to have is if you want this to be a one inch extrusion, it starts at that sketch on that plane. So I have to account for that. So I'd actually have to change this to 1.25 in order to get that one inch extrusion outwards that I wanted. Whereas if I chose the one inch plane away and extruded to the surface, I would get a one inch extrusion and would not have to account for that movement of the plane.